So now in this video, I thought we would make a demonstration circuit where we have a couple red LEDs there. They're going to stay on all the time. They are setting a couple reference voltages though because of their forward uh, voltage, the voltage that builds up across them. Of course, there's better ways to make reference uh, voltages, but since everybody has uh, red LEDs, I figured uh, I would make some circuits where we uh, use them. So in any case, we have a couple op amps in that integrated circuit right there. If uh, we get it dark enough on the uh, light dependent resistor there. Now you can see both of the LEDs on top are lit. I'm going to turn my flashlight on. And uh, as I get closer, you'll see the one on the right start fading off as I get enough light on there. So you can definitely see that one still on. Those two will always be on. As I get closer, the other one uh, will fade off. So it's really not quite fading off. Um, as it gets dimmer, it's off more than it's on. It's turning on and off uh, rapidly because this particular flashlight, the front, uh, is always turning on and off rapidly. This side light uh, stays on steady. So I'm going to get far away. And uh, there you can see now they're both on. It's dark enough. I get closer. The one on the right will suddenly turn off. And then uh, the one on the left, when I get close enough, will uh, suddenly turn off, as you can see there. And uh, so in any case, it's on steadily. So the output will be either on or off uh, steadily. So now looking at this circuit more closely, we have uh, two reference uh, voltages that uh, we are measuring from the LEDs in series right there. And uh, so both of the nodes where the two different voltages are, a node is a connection point, electrical connection where everything's connected electrically, uh, they're both going to the non-inverting input uh, plus right there. So the output always wants to be more like what the non-inverting input is in relationship to the inverting input. When it's higher, you got a high output. And uh, when the voltage is lower than the uh, inverting input, then the output is low, connects to a ground. Uh, these op amps, by the way, they connect to ground really good. You can get zero volts at the output. Um, but not to the positive supply usually falls about a volt and a half short So we're probably getting like three and a half volts uh, coming out when the LEDs are lit up Just thought I would point that out. Um, so we'll uh, jump over here the uh, physical component uh, Pin number eight powers uh, both op amps right there positive supply and then negative supply goes to pin uh, Four right there for both op amps and uh, so the op amps are kind of shuffled that one's one spot higher this one's one spot lower in relationship to the other one. So we have the output on top, then we have our inverting or minus right there, right below the output for the two of them. And then right below that, we have our plus or our non-inverting input uh, right there. So you can see it coming to uh, that point, that's the short lead, the cathode, long lead, the anode for the LED. Short lead, the cathode, long lead, the anode. So we build up two volts across there, going to the plus, and uh, since there's two LEDs in relationship to ground there, we're building up uh, four volts right there to the plus. Hopefully that makes sense. So now we'll come back. And uh, so we saw the uh, voltage divider there. When it comes to our signal, so signal is the changing voltage. These are, uh, you know, relatively steady there. This one's changing all over the place based on how much light is falling on there. Um, it's going to both of the inverting inputs. And uh, so they change at the same time. Um, so when it's really dark, then uh, this voltage is lower than that one. That one is higher. So uh, when we get down to close to zero volts, the uh, inverting inputs will be lower than both of these. That's why since it's lower, the signal, than the non-inverting input, that's why both outputs were high. Remember, the output wants to be more like the non-inverting input. We get some light, you know, we get, you know, maybe 2.5 volts at a fair amount of light. And uh, so at that point, this one's higher and uh, then that point there, 2.5 is higher than two. And uh, so since this ends up being the lower voltage, the output goes low and that LED turns off. And uh, so we saw the right one turn off sooner. And then, uh, so when it comes to the four volts, that's higher than uh, 2.5 volts. And so the output's high, but uh, we get it bright enough. We get uh, above four volts. We, we connect five volts pretty well to both those points. Then uh, once we get like 4.5 volts or something, this is the lower voltage. 
the output goes low and then that LED turns off. So that's why when there's really bright light, um, the inverting input has a higher voltage than the non-inverting, which leads to a low output. Remember, this is an inverting comparator. It's comparing the two uh, voltages, but it's uh, when the signal is higher than the reference voltage, then the outputs are low. And uh, when the signal is a lower voltage than the reference uh, voltages, that's when the outputs are high. And if you want a closer look at uh, that voltage divider, we have it right there. So 4.7K, so that's 4,700 uh, ohms right there to ground. That's, you know, kind of keeping the voltage down lower. But then we have our light dependent resistor uh, right there. So when it's not conducting well, then we got a pretty good ground connection there. Again, remember the inputs don't let current in or out. They're just looking at the voltage. And when you got a bright light, it's conducting really well. It's making a pretty good connection to the positive supply. So you keep getting closer and closer to five volts. Hopefully that makes sense. And then uh, the outputs again are the top, uh, not the top pin of the integrated circuit on that side, but the top of the uh, comparator uh, right there. Or it's actually an op amp. We're using it as a comparator, inverting comparator and then top pin there. So you can see we got the resistor. Uh, the other side of the LED is to ground. So you know the output's high. It's coming from the positive there. We could also have uh, an LED. We'd have to put the LED in the opposite direction coming uh, from the uh, positive supply to uh, the outputs. Then they would light up when the output is low. Um, but we didn't wire that. We just have the ones that are headed uh, to ground. So they will only light up when the output is high. We'll come back to uh, the uh, schematic. And uh, I think I'm pretty much uh, done. Um, so I will mention that uh, this means it's not connected when you see a jump. So we have our you know, reference voltages there. That's uh, one connection going to the plus or non-inverting. And then uh, down here, um, this is not uh, connected. It's jumping over that line is jumping over. That's the way I like. Some people really like if you cross where they're not connected and then put dots everywhere that they're connected. But I don't want to manage all those dots and everything. And I think it's pretty obvious here where you can see uh, where the connections are uh, versus the uh, not uh, connected, the jump over. So that's the system I like better and I think it usually looks better on the schematics. But some people really don't like that. Um, but uh, oh well, that's what I'm doing in this video. So in any case, uh, that's it. Video went on a lot longer than I expected, so I hope you enjoy. Make sure you check out uh, one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen, and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.